Right now, the average house listed for sale is on the market for about two months before it's sold. To get a leg up on the competition, we asked top broker Frederick Eklund of Bravo's Million Dollar Listing to share some tricks that could save you thousands in the process. Frederick, Andy Cohen says that you can sell ice to an Eskimo. Well, I am from Sweden, which is very cold <laughs> and a lot of ice. So That is a huge Thank compliment, you, right? Yes. So tell me, what are some tricks that you use to sell a home quickly? You need to play up the good and play down the bad. So let's say the space is maybe very small, mm -hmm. but it has an amazing view. Then it's my job as the broker to bring them in and, oh my God, look at the view, a little bit theatrical. I wouldn't, you know, obviously point out that the square footage is on the smaller side. I mean, you have to say the square footage, but don't linger on it. Yeah, so, you know, it's 550 square feet, two bedroom, but the view, you know, so you draw the energy to out the windows. So you're paying attention to the positive. Yes. I love that. And how do you grab attention to your listing with all of the competition out there? I think the listing itself, the photographs, the floor plan, the description needs to be straight to the facts. I don't like gimmicky things. I mean, once in a while I put in my miniature dachshunds, Mousy and Fritzy, into my client's apartments and taking photos. Cute. But I, you know, people scroll so fast and they're looking for answers. So you want it to be to the facts. Uh, the photos have to be gorgeous, but I wouldn't do gimmicky things. When it comes to the events and the social media, the PR, the advertisements. The open houses. The open houses. There you can drum it up a little bit, yes. Okay, so there's a lot of staging on the show. You bring in people, yes. professionals to do it up. So important. But what if you don't have the money? Well, you have to remember that people have very little vision. I don't have a lot of vision. When you walk into space and you want all your senses to be satisfied, it needs to smell good, it needs to be bright, and you have to imagine yourself to be living there, right? That's what a buyer does. I, my job is to sell them on their 2.0 version of themselves. So if the furniture is bad and it's dark and crummy and it smells, they're not going to buy it regardless of what an amazing location is. So what anyone can do if you can't afford a stage is to repaint. Not expensive, right? And, and it, it smells like it's brand new. Smells good. And it forces you to, which brings me to my second point, declutter. Take things down from the walls and just open up the space. You know, put all, half of your stuff into boxes. You can start moving out. Yeah, you can start moving out and just also neutralize a little bit. Political items maybe, religious items, you know, crazy colors that you might love but alienate someone else. So, you know, that light gray or cream or white, you know, that beautiful neutral palette is what everybody loves. And that also could make the space feel brighter and lighter, right? Yeah, and light, that's a good point. Light is everything. Light is happy. It's contagious. Everybody loves happy, Nobody right? Nobody wants to buy a dark, no. dingy looking space. And I'm always surprised when I walk into these $20 million apartments and they have these big window treatments or curtain or drapery. So take that away, open up the windows, and if it's still not bright, you can buy these really inexpensive floor lamps at Ikea for $20 that shoot up in the whole ceiling and make the space happy, which will increase the value. Okay, well, all practical tips that anyone can do. Anyone. But not everyone can do your signature high kick on the show. No, Which everybody can do it because I'm very tall and very clumsy. So okay, if I can do us, it. Teach us, okay, teach so us. Okay, so basically, I've been doing this since I was a little boy, four years old, okay? And okay, tell me why. I do when why. I'm sad. I do when I'm happy. I'm doing it in the center of Fifth Avenue. I'm doing it in front of Jennifer Lopez when I sold her an apartment. I do it all the time. You did this in front of J-Lo? Oh, she loved it. Okay. okay, so one leg. Okay. Okay, the balance. And then foot out, straight toe. Mm -hmm. And this is the dinosaur hands. Very important. Dinosaur. Wah! Wah! <laughs> How did I you do? Did it, you did it. I did it. I, I did I, your high kick. I love the sound effect. It's very ta you talented. Thank you. It was a little embarrassing, but I'll do you it for amazing. you. You look amazing. You beautiful. <laughs> I'm not sure the kick will help you get more for your property. But as Frederick says, it should certainly help you do it with humor and style. Tune in to Million Dollar Listing New York Thursday nights at 9 p.m. on Bravo. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Jeannie Ann.